Hey guys, I'm at our apartment laundry house right now and I'm gonna do some diaper laundry. And I thought this would be the perfect time for me to film a video about washing cloth diapers in the laundromat. Some of you have been asking about that. You've been hesitant about using cloth diapers because you live in apartments or you don't have your own washer and dryer. Well, I live in apartments and I don't have my own washer and dryer. And I do regularly use my mom's washer, but their washer's kind of broken and I haven't been really happy with its cleaning powers. So I am going to use the laundry mat today. If you guys haven't seen my other video yet, how to properly, and I emphasize properly, washing cloth diapers, please watch that before you continue washing this because I explain a lot more about detergent and the importance of using real detergent when it comes to washing cloth diapers. And I will actually be doing a more thorough discussion about different types of detergent and how they work or how they don't work. So stay tuned for that video, but for now, let's do some diaper laundry in the laundry mat. So this is pretty much your standard top loader with agitator type. So I'm just gonna load, this is my uh, travel wet bag. It's small, it's nine by 14 inches and it's just for on the go cloth diapering. So I'm just gonna throw that in. It's inside out so the inside can clean. And this is my wet bag, which is full of diapers. I might have to use two uh, washing machines, we'll see. But uh, just throw all your diapers in there. I wanted to show real fast that I designed my wet bags with snaps on the handles. So that way you can use it as a handle to lift your wet bag as well. Just a little side tidbit. I'm just going to turn this inside out so the inside gets cleaned. Okay, now that the diapers and the wet bag is in there, it's really important to do a pre-rinse first. This will get rid of it all the urine because it's soaked in the diapers and also the poop residue that might be on the diaper still. Uh, you don't want to do your wash right away because then your diapers will just be swimming with poop and pee detergent all around. It doesn't really do an overall clean. So you want to do a pre-rinse first. Now this part you don't need to use detergent if you don't want to. You can just use water. That's it. This is just for the pre-rinse but I like to use a little bit of detergent. I feel that it does a little bit more extra cleaning and detergent that our mainstream detergent, real detergent, is designed not to leave um, buildup or residue. So unless you use DIY detergents, which I really do not recommend, you don't have to worry about buildup. I'm gonna put a little bit, well, a capful actually, for my pre-rinse. This is just detergent I've been wanting to use up already. So I'm gonna use, this is the, I'm gonna use a different detergent for my main wash. So I have my detergent in, but remember you can leave that out if you want to. Takes the money in, costs $1.25 for my laundry. Good. All right. I'm gonna sell this to normal in warm water. You can use cold, some people like to use cold first, that's all right. And then we'll do heavy soil load. So we've got normal, warm, and I can start that. There you go. So this is the pre-rinse cycle only. Uh, this, a lot of people are worried about water temperatures and that's not really too important. You can use whatever water temperature you're most comfortable with and there is no set washing routine. You'll find your own rhythm as you go. And I just, uh, I just like, sometimes I use cold water depending if I use my mom's washer, that way they save more energy. But for a laundromat, I'm already paying for the wash anyway, I might as well use the temperatures that I prefer to wash in. So cold, you can use cold if you want, you can use hot if you want. Uh, the PUL are designed to withstand hot temperatures as well. They were originally made for medical and military purposes, so it's okay to use hot water with them, it's perfectly fine. I just chose a warm setting for now for the main, uh, for the pre-wash. And we'll come back after this is done in 27 minutes. And we're done. That sounds 
All right, it's time for the main wash. Look at the diapers right now. They are absolutely not clean yet, but at least all most of the pee and poop residues are already gone. So I'm gonna use Tide. Plus, the Tide is my favorite uh, mainstream detergent. I think that it does the best job out of all of it. Of course, you're gonna choose a detergent that fits your water type and your skin sensitivity more. You can use free and clear if you want to. Uh, if you have sensitive skin, sensitive to dyes and perfumes. But it's really important that you use real detergent because other detergents just either, DIY detergents either don't contain the right surfactant or doesn't contain it at all. It's the most important ingredient when it comes to cleaning. So I got a cap full of Tide and I'm just gonna toss it in there. Whee! And then, we're gonna turn it on. I will uh, write down the uh, information about detergent on the description box below. And like I said, I'm gonna do a video specifically about detergent soon. So in the meantime, hopefully the information below holds you off because, okay. So we'll do normal to heavy soil level and hot wash. And I'm actually gonna put an extra, there you go, for extra time. There you go. You got the wash cycle going. There are a lot of controversies surrounding the area of cleaning cloth diapers, and there's a lot of misinformation out there. And those misinformation often lead to people giving up on cloth diapers because they can't get it properly clean, or it scares them away before they even start because it's just so overwhelming, when really, it's really very simple. Just, the only extra step really is doing the pre-rinse. After that, it's pretty much the same as your regular laundry. It's made out of the same materials, except for the PUL, which I said is not the most sensitive thing in the world as people like to make them seem. They are meant to hold and contain pee and poop, and so they are, they are very durable, and they can very much handle hot water and real detergent is very important and um, I can go on and on and on for a while about this so I'll save it for a separate video uh, but really the most important part about cloth diapering is properly cleaning them and using real detergent mainstream detergent is the only way to do it all right diaper is ready this is ready to dry for me already. Some people may wonder about the extra rinse, the last rinse, and this will usually serve as to remove any residue of detergent or anything like that. But I find that for me, it's not necessary anymore. And you just, if you're not sure, take your diapers or your inserts and feel them. If they feel soapy or slippery, then you can do an extra rinse if you want to. It's more of like a peace of mind, just in case kind of thing. And I find that it's not really necessary anymore. Um, I actually did do, I used to do an extra rinse and I just found that it's just wasteful of water and it's not necessary. So I just cut it off completely out of my routine. And you can feel the diapers. It feels really clean and squeaky clean and they smell awesome because I use real detergent. So these are ready to dry. The diapers are in there. Close up. Don't use dryer sheets. It's very important not to use dryer sheets. That's another difference between regular laundry and this laundry. You can't use synthetic fabric softeners or dryer sheets because those will build up into the fibers of your diapers and can cause um, repelling. So don't use this. Now, time for the settings. Let me just put this in. All right. I like to use medium temperature. You can use whatever temperature you want. You can use low temperature if you're more comfortable with it. You can use high temperature if you want it because uh, the PUL can withstand the heat. The only thing with that is that the elastics will wear down over time if you use too much heat on them. Especially, uh, just if you use, if you prefer to use high heat, just make sure that you don't stretch the elastics while they're still hot and they should be fine. And if you're not comfortable using a dryer at all, if it's a nice day outside, right now it's very gloomy, it's winter time, so you can even hang them up in the summer and let them dry. Let them get some sun and some 
some summer heat and that'll do just fine. Uh, that, that I, use, I use medium temperature for the elastics and usually uh, it dries really fast, even the inserts. So it's all good. When you properly clean your diapers, there will be no stink buildups. Therefore, there will be no need to do regular stripping of the stinks. Uh, the stink come from improperly cleaned diapers. This is when you use the wrong kind of detergent. And I know there's a lot of appeal into DIY detergent because the ingredients are very easy to find and they're very affordable and you can make a big batch of it. The problem with that is that it does not work. The dry, the powder detergent usually only consists of water softeners and stain removers and laundry boosters. There's no surfactant in it, which is a very important ingredient. And then the other kind, the wet one, they usually add grated soap in the mix. That way it does a clean. The problem with soap is that it is derived from, the surfactant found in soap is derived from animal and vegetable fat. And it reacts differently because there's a different chemical structure from real detergent. And it leaves soap scum all over your diapers. It'll build up there and it'll also leave it all over your washer and eventually destroy it. So. It's important to use detergent that is meant to be used for washing machine, that is meant to clean clothes. That's, you guys know that I love DIYing and if I can make it, I usually won't buy it, but when it comes to washing cloth diapers, I use the real thing because it, it's not mainstream propaganda. <laughs> if anything, the DIY detergent is the propaganda because it just, it doesn't work. And I know that for some people, they might feel that it does work for their diapers or they say that it does work for their diapers but personal experience really does not negate the, the scientific fact. <laughs> so please, please take into consideration and keep in mind that the diapers, no matter how adorable and cute they are, they collect urine and feces and that they need to be properly clean. And so please, with an open mind, whenever you watch this video or whenever you find information about cloth diapers and how to clean them just keep that in mind because you put this against your baby's skin and your baby is in a diaper 24 7 until they potty train so just make sure to keep that in mind when it comes to cleaning the cloth diapers because it's very important thank you so much for watching this video guys i hope you found it informative and i hope it helped you if you did please give it a thumbs up i learned everything that i know about cleaning cloth diapers from the Cloth Diaper Asylum, so please feel free to join the group for all of your myth-busting and troubleshooting needs. And I will talk to you guys on the next video. Please subscribe for more videos. Bye, guys. Here they are. Super clean, good-smelling diapers. Woo, now I gotta stuff all of it. It's your clean diapers, baby. Oh, 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 oh. Ah, why'd you do that for? <laughs> You're silly.